Hey guys, Marsing and here bringing you another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle video. And so everybody is still waiting for new news on the Dragon Ball Heroes collab with Dokkan. We saw from the live stream a little while ago, of course, that we are getting the five Awakenings as well as a Xeno Pan, who is going to be summonable, at least how the tweet was worded. And uh, that's all we know for now. So. I decided to look back across the dates for some of these things because even though we didn't get the Golden Week units in November like we usually do because we got them at the same time as JP, the timing for this celebration has still been very much in line with the timing of last year. And last year the Hero Celebration came on the 19th whilst the Golden Week celebration was still on. So I went back to look at the dates for some of the key events around that time and uh, I came across this, right? So this is the video that I made when the Dokkan Now was announced for Heroes. So this was announced, as you can see from the date of the video, on the 14th of November. I think this was posted early in the morning, so it might have still been the evening of the 13th, depending on where you are uh, in the US. But this was on the 14th, so that is three days away from now when this video is going to go up. So we could potentially see the announcement for a Dokkan now in the next couple of days. And I do believe that we are going to get one because they used the Dokkan now last year to announce all of the full details. So this is the video that I made when the Dokkan now actually came out. Uh, it's dated November the 17th, but as you can see on the image here, it's the 16th in the evening in the US. That is the 17th in the morning for me. And so just clicking through this, like they showed all the new units. It was a recap video that I did with some of the boys from 5.9. But they showed all the new units. Then they showed the new event because we got this time patrol event that was basically like an infinite Dragon Ball history stage. Uh, we also got a story event that had the farmable, is it Salza? I can't remember that guy's name already. It probably isn't that, but... No, no one really cares. Free to play demon guy. Can't remember what his name is, but we got a free to play version of him. And then they also showed off uh, the awakening arts. I don't know if they showed off the details for the actual awakenings because we already know the awakenings that we're getting and their arts. But I don't think they showed off what they did. They obviously showed that Super Saiyan 4 Vegito is going to actually have his own Dokkan event. And then they went on to show the details of what all of the new units actually do. Um, again, I think I don't think they went through the details of the actual um, Awakenings, which is something that whilst we know which units are Awakening, we still don't know what they're going to do. But they did go ahead and show the details of the actual new units. Uh, obviously, since the Brody was getting an Awakening, they showed both of the arts as well as his details. And then they did also show uh, both of the Super Saiyan 4 Vegito stuff as well. Um, let me just see what else as we go through here. Uh, they also showed the uh, Toa and the Deborah arts because they awakened as well whilst going over their details. But they did not show, if I uh, just keep clicking through here, I don't think they showed any information about the awakenings. No, they didn't. So they just showed off all the new units and they showed off their arts and what they do, but not the details for the awakenings. So I would be expecting the same kind of thing to happen this time as well, where we finally get to see the four other cards that are going to be on the banner and hopefully find out what they do. But we might not find out the details for the units that are actually going to be getting awakenings. So, when it comes to who those new units are going to be, people are obviously still speculating. There's a lot of speculation going around about God Trunks, because obviously Xenopan is a card that has been announced and is the Xeno Trunks' sidekick, basically, and was part of the God ritual uh, to make Trunks a Super Saiyan God in Heroes. So, it would kind of make sense for them to be released at the same time. Also, I think I saw somebody, I can't remember if it was Truth, saying that in one of the first sets where there was a Xenopan, uh, that was the set where Super Saiyan 4 Kyo Ken Go, uh, Gogeta was like the main secret rare or SEC or whatever they call them. So I did see a couple of people mention this, but shout out to my boy Minato over here, uh, fellow content lead for Dokkan for 5.9, so make sure you follow him if you're not already. But a lot of people did point this out, that the Dokkan account retweeted this, from Dragon Ball Heroes. This is the 11th anniversary uh, set 11 cards. And these are the SEC, like the super rare cards for this set. And they are Super Saiyan 4, Kaioken, Gogeta, Super Saiyan Blue, Goku, and Super Saiyan 4, Goku together with like the time patrol power up. This is from like the latest episode of Heroes, the one that they showed on the live stream. And then there's Super Saiyan 3, Goku, 
and then there's also the like old school manga art OG Goku which is actually super cool as well um, but the thing that comes to mind for me specifically is the fact that Heroes does not usually do the newest thing that has just come out in Heroes as the actual like main card normally we have to wait right like the super saiyan 4s were last year but they were in heroes way before last year or even the year before that so it, it seems a little bit less likely that we would be getting these guys but with what we just said about the xenopan set super saiyan 4 kaioken gogeta seems like he could actually be a very solid choice for like the main card for this celebration now obviously it could also be a god trunks but Super Saiyan 4 Kaioken Gogeta definitely seems like he could be high up on that list. And I don't know if it's like a tie-in because obviously last year we got all the Super Saiyan 4s. And then the units that got their awakenings from the previous year was like the Dark Mask King, uh, Black Mask Saiyan, Super Mirror, and then the uh, physical like Demon Demigra. Um, but we do know that the units that get their awakenings this year, uh, two of them are fusions, right? I mean, technically Vegeta, uh, Vegex is a fusion, but it's a Patara fusion. So the fact that there are some fusions already focused on the banner with the Gohanks awakening into Super Saiyan 3 and the same with the Xeno Gotenks, the main banner unit being a fusion as well definitely seems like it could fit because they're obviously going to share a ton of links. Remember that the Heroes banners are always guaranteed featured, so if you're summoning trying to pull the main unit you're probably going to pull a bunch of copies of the other featured units as well so anyone who pulls these fusions along the way and then actually pulls like the super saiyan 4 kaioken goji if it is him you are going to have some other units that work well around him now hopefully that does not mean that he's going to have a uh, fusions leader skill because i think we've definitely got enough units in the game at the moment that have fusions as a leader skill but I mean, definitely interesting. Could you imagine if they made him a full power leader? Because Kaioken, like, units being on full power is a common thing. And full power is a category that's really needed a new leader for a long time. And we did see that even though it was specifically for the crossover category, which is kind of the whole point of Heroes, I guess. But Super Saiyan 4 Vegito came out with a 170 across the board leader skill. So imagine if they made a Super Saiyan 4 Kaioken Gogeta and gave him a 170 across the board full power leader skill. Man, that would be insane because like full power is severely lacking when it comes to decent leaders. In fact, let's bring up the full power category here. Because full power is a category that's been lacking for some time because the two leaders are the physical Broly, who's obviously good for like the AoE and everything, but he's definitely aged quite a lot. And then same can definitely be said of Super Saiyan 4 full power Goku, like he's aged pretty badly. And then the LR, obviously much lower leader skill, doesn't really fit in super well with the rest of the team. And then obviously this is... Uh, an easy a that's jp exclusive at the moment and is a free to play unit so her leader skill is super super low but full power does have a lot of very solid units on it and this team could be really really good again if they have a really solid leader so we definitely like if we see super saiyan 4 kaioken gogeta as the main lead i definitely think he could have a full power leader skill which i think would be super super interesting so let me know what you guys think down below um i definitely think with the way the dates are lining up with the celebrations from last year compared to this year the fact that this was announced on the 14th and then immediately dropped on the 17th i think we could be seeing the same thing again this year and then the banner literally dropped on the 19th so you know that means potentially we are only a week away from the dragon ball heroes banner so let me know what you guys think down below are you excited have you saved up some stones or did you blow them all summoning for gogeta let me know all of that information down below in the comment section and who do you think that the main units are going to be is it going to be super saiyan 4 full power kaioken gogeta is it going to be god trunks or is it just going to be something completely out of left field maybe they will do some of the more recent stuff and we'll see like a super saiyan 3 rose or something like that let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section but one thing is for sure and that is that i am hyped i love the dragon ball hero stuff the crossover category or dragon ball heroes category they're technically the same in a way is going to be getting much much stronger after this update i really love this team and i'm looking forward to this so let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section so that is going to be it for the video guys this has been the master ningen smash that like button subscribe to the channel if you are new check out the links down below for the discord and the merch store and i will see you all again soon 
Have a good one.